I'm just sitting here, I'm waiting, and I was thinking about it, and I really just wanted to get on here and talk to you about, like, the updates and stuff, uh, how I'm doing, what the future holds, all that kind of stuff. So, I am currently in awe of everything that's going on with the realm of magic and stuff. I cannot wait for it to come out. I, I literally got so excited when they uh, announced the stuff about the stairs, which is so crazy because who would have thought that stairs could make a person so happy, but oh my god, I was ecstatic to hear about the stairs because it's just really, really cool and like it, I would hate when you would do like that third tallest uh height for the walls and then you would put a stair and it took up so much freaking space and it was just like unnecessarily long like super super long that's not even realistic and i used to hate it and it was like if i made a build with like the really tall walls i knew that the stairs were gonna look terrible so now you can actually make them and they don't look so bad so it's pretty cool i am i really really love it uh I've already gotten that update and stuff, so I do have the configurable stairs. Well, somebody just beeped. Um, but I do have the configurable stairs, and I haven't gotten to play with them too much. I haven't been building lately, but I definitely will. And oh my god, once the Realm of Magic comes out, it's gonna be amazing. And I am so excited. I tweeted about it. But I am so, so, so excited to make an off-grid witch in the forest type build. I think that would be so, so cool. And, like, I feel like off the grid and witches and stuff, like, it's really, really, like, it's a cool idea. And I think that everything they've been adding has been, like, coming, like, it all flows together very, very well. So, like, we're going to be able to make so so much and like it's gonna be it's just gonna be so cool i can't wait it's gonna be so freaking cool um i'm so excited i can't wait for it to come out um i will definitely make videos about it um first thing i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna make a house that's has all of the realm of magic stuff it's gonna be so much fun um and so as far as updates go so i know i haven't been posting lately but i am planning a series i guess where i go through and i kind of do all of what are they called ambitions or something not ambitions uh but like yeah ambitions i think like when you go and you choose like what they want to do with their life like they have Oh, you want to have a big happy family, successful lineage, um, the best cook, best chef or something, uh, what else do they have, uh, they would, a lot, <laughs> I can't remember right now, but basically I want to go through and I want to try to reach every single one of those, so like I want to make each episode me doing them. Or if, like, it's a really short one, I want to go and just, like, add it together and I might do, like, a little montage of me completing those. Because I feel like I haven't seen that. I haven't seen somebody go on and take the challenge of completing every single one of those. And some of them are a lot, lot harder than the others. So I feel like that would be something interesting to watch that's kind of different. But yeah, um, I also really, really like to create Sims themselves. But I feel like, because in my head, when I create a sim, I always have like a whole story for them. And their look really, in my head at least, it really represents whatever story and whatever they've gone through in their life and like their personality and everything. And I really, really love to create sims, but I just don't know that anyone really wants to see it. Um... I don't know if I should just record every time I make a sim and just like speed it up and post it. I don't know. I really, honestly, I could take over an hour just creating one sim if I really wanted to. I mean, some sims I can create really, really fast and like, I have done like sims in like a minute or two, but I 
if I'm really, really into it, I love to take my time and like go through all the different like accessories and make sure they have different hair types. And recently I figured out that you can put more than one outfit for every day and pajamas and all that. And I think you can have up to five of each, which is awesome. But if you do that for every single Sim, you're gonna spend a hell of a lot of time just creating your Sims looks. But I mean, if you're into that, you're into that. Um, I know a lot of people like to say that they are in a category of either they like to create sims, they like to build houses, or they like to uh, do the gameplay. Me personally, I like a mix of all of those. Um, if I only ever strictly did building, I would get bored. If I only ever strictly did creating sims, not that I would be bored, but it would kind of feel pointless because it's like you're putting so much into their personality and their look and for what? And then if I only ever did gameplay without creating houses or the sims themselves, then I just wouldn't be into that. I I really, really like just making a story and making their house and like just making it them. And I don't know. Uh, so I consider myself, I do a little bit of everything. I would never want to be stuck just doing one thing, you know? So we'll see what I'm going to post uh, soon. But hopefully you're in for the ride and hopefully you enjoy all the things that I'm going to be posting soon enough. And yeah, so I'll be working on that completing ambitions thing and yeah. If you want to ever be updated about what I'm doing or what I'm posting or whatever, or if you want to give me your opinions, uh, you can tweet me, you can comment below, whatever, let me know.